Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. So I got a little props to Jason Howell, who we know best as the producer of TNT and the host of All About Android. Mm -hmm. But I know you make great music. I've heard your guitar music, and it blows me away. You're really oh, talented. Thank you. I uh, but that. I didn't know is that you've done albums before. I'm, yeah. And I've you're done. working on a new one. You've got a Kickstarter for Yellow Gold. In fact, if people go to kickstarter.com and look for Yellow Gold. You can look for Yellow it. Gold. I think you'd also just look for Jason Howell. And probably That's how I found it. So uh, you've already recorded this album. It's done. Yeah, I've spent the past year working on it pretty hard. I'm mean, pretty hard around family and full-time job, which means late into the but night. But this is your leisure. Morning. This is what you enjoy doing yeah, more than I'd be, I'd be doing this regardless. Yeah. And, and, you know... For all intents and purposes, I was doing this for myself anyways. I just got enough people that heard about it that were like, well, we want to hear it because you, you released your last one on Bandcamp. We want to hear this one. So I was like, ah, well, let's see what I can do with it. Are you, so, do you play real instruments? Is it is it computer uh, music? Everything. What is it? So, everything. yeah, guitar, bass, programmed uh, programmed uh, elements like drums, do you sing? piano, sing, oh, all, well. all nine yards. Get a well, singing saw. What's that? <laughs> no, but apparently I need to get that for the next album. Just saying. Well, I'm <laughs> you're looking for four thousand dollars to put this out. You've already raised two thousand seven hundred forty-five dollars. Yeah, in twenty-four hours. That is pretty so awesome. I'm pretty. I pretty kicked darn in. Happy. I expect my album. Uh, I'm excited about this. So I just wanted to oh, tell right people on. about it. And, oh, I appreciate uh, that. You yeah, you can go to, to Kickstarter.com and support Jason's uh, hobby. But yeah, now the passion, reason I passion, passion yeah. more than that, and yeah. hopefully we're gonna we're gonna have him on NSFW show performing perform? live. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll now that. he's got a little oh. thing he can use to do that. There we go. <laughs> this is yeah. So okay. So this, this is the Cuneo. I was walking through the edit room uh, back back there where Shannon, your desk is also, and I saw this sitting on the on the counter, and I like stopped at my tracks. I was like, whoa, what is this audio technology in the house? Like <laughs> that's mine. More of this, please. Now so, I've used and I bought for my son something called an MK MPC. Yep. Akai makes them a couple mm -hmm. of... A, I bought him a fairly expensive Akai MPC, mm -hmm. which looks like that. Yeah. This is not that. No. This is a controller. This is a MIDI... Uh, MIDI controller. So okay. any applications that support MIDI or you know MIDI through USB, you can see that's a micro USB. So these port pads on the side. trigger sounds. Absolutely, um, and you know it's it's highly customizable. Um, I should also mention that it also works with an iPad. If you have an iPad that supports OPC or OSC, which is Open Sound Control, you can get a special cord and uh, connect it to your iPad and do wow. things like Tractor DJ. Well, normally, it's, and stuff. it's MIDI over USB. Yeah, okay. that's that's exactly what it does. So basically, you've got all these different pads, and there's software that you also get that es essentially allows you to customize exactly what notes all of these trigger and what they do. Um, so DJs would use something like this. In fact, that's what they do with the MPCs, too, to kind of uh, put together a bunch of loops and then absolutely. trigger them. Yes. So in, so is taking the MPC example, right, that would be a drum trigger situation. That would right. be using it like it's a drum machine. So can you do it that? Let me uh, now, load. Does it, does it come with software or are you using something else? I, I'm using a program called Ableton Live. Okay. Very, uh, but very, they, very popular. Yeah, very, very popular performance, performance program, uh, yeah. software for electronic music right. uh, in a large. So it works with that number. out of the box? So it does. Um, oh, yeah. So now it's a drum pad. Yeah, so so I mean, this I just kind of threw together before the show just to kind of show it off because I don't I don't really use it as a drum pad, right? But it can be done that way. Basically, right. these big squares right here uh, can do a lot of things. All these buttons are multi-touch, so they can track two different fingers at at any given time. No kidding. Uh, these squares you can either set them up in one of two different ways. You can set it up in drum mode, which is essentially just the pad triggers a sound, right? Right. Or you can set it up into a mode where each corner is its own operation. Oh, so you wow. get even more See? than the 16 pads. Exactly. That are there. So what I was doing, what I've been working on the last couple of weeks, and we're is, dimming the lights so people can see the colors. And wow, it's, it's but the getting, colors tell you something. So now you've do. got four. Do you have four actions on the? So um, so corners, this is or? my DJ profile. Basically, okay. I've okay. I've produced a lot of electronic music over the years, and I've uh, always wanted to mix them into one continuous mix. Yeah. And and so, so when I got this, I was like, this is my perfect opportunity to do it. Crossfader. I've kind of emulated the crossfader here. Oh, this so this has so as a slider uh, that you can yeah. actually slide. Yeah, oh, you, that's can slide, so cool. you can slide this, or you could program this to be anything you want. Uh, one of the examples they say is you could set up a filter and with two fingers Whoa. control the uh, kind of the frequency range and move around. Uh, oh, you know, and widen it or, or bring it together. Wow. It's fully customizable, right? I've got my mixing That's levels a, those, on deck those four A and deck B. Sliders or mixers. Okay. Uh, I've got these, you know, routed to like cutting cutting the lows, uh, taking so, a high pass so filter. It could be any function, though. Anything. Anything. Absolutely okay. anything that you can assign to MIDI. Actually, Brian, if you roll. Um, 
the a little bit of stuff. I mean, it's not the most exciting. in his studio. Yeah, so this is from my house. It's not the most exciting thing in the world because the way that I DJ is 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 kind of slow and blending over time. So I'm not like a flashy kind of like. You're more trance type. Yeah, yeah, more more along those lines. I'm gonna get a latte. This is great. But you can kind of see like using the using the crossfader with one hand. That's what through Google Glass, by the way. The two. Sliders on the left are basically track level, and then those sliders wow. up at the top are essentially cutting the low the low end out of. So this is all track. stuff you could do on the computer keyboard, but it's so much more intuitive and natural. Absolutely. To do it on the, on the and pad. then and then you can see the little pads, right? The four different dots in Ableton Live that allows me to queue up the next song to go through the list and actually essentially say, okay, I'm going to play this song now. Right. Hit one of the corners, and that would trigger it. So yeah, again, it's not the most exciting thing to watch, but. So what does somebody like Dead Mouse use? Uh, well, that's a really good question. I would I would not be surprised Something if like Dead this? Mouse, who has all the money in the world when it comes to electronic music, right. probably has a few of these in his arsenal because it's so highly customizable and it's really portable. Like the thing is, it's the size and shape of an iPad. That's exactly it. I mean, it fits right into your backpack. There's nothing protruding out of it to really kind of break or, or fall apart uh, in a lot of, you know, How kind of moving around. How convenient is that? So, I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's, By the way, I love the music. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, is that what Yellow Gold's going to sound no, like? No, no, no. That's, that's my other project called Raygun, which is where like Raygun came from. I but, like it. Um, but just so you know, just as background for this, it was actually funded. It was a Kickstarter project. No it kidding. It was Kickstarter in 2011. It was 11 times overfunded. Wow. So people really kind of saw the potential of this, and it costs $200 right now. It's actually... What? Pretty incredible what the you MPC get. The MPC I bought, Henry. Now, of course, it has a hard drive and a computer. Exactly. It's really for it making music. It's called a music production center. Yeah. But that was over a thousand. It has bucks. processing wow. brains. This yeah. is quite literally a MIDI controller. But when you've got software in your computer and on, on your iPad, you can make it do the same exact thing. Uh, more or less that the MPC does. I am very uh, impressed. I, I've had a blast with it. I'm, I'm, I've already decided at the end of this interview, I didn't want to let them know before, but at the end of this interview, I'm going to email them and say, all right, I have to get one of these. Can I just keep this and pay you whatever I need to pay you? Like, let me throw money at you because <laughs> I, I want love it. it so much. And I think I might get one for Henry. I think he would find this very useful. He's going to very. go to college in a month. That's more like the kind of thing you'd carry than a big, heavy MPC. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the portability alone, just being able to throw this in my backpack and then do all of the music, musical things with a laptop that I'm so used to doing locked down at my desktop computer in my studio is great. I say Herbie Hancock uses this. Others, that's pretty yeah, amazing. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of know, artists. It's I'll, very I'll tell you, especially for a DJ where you have to go where the party is, exactly. literally, portability is a major issue. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, DJs, by a large degree nowadays, aren't just, it's not the traditional sense of I only play vinyl. Like, DJ now, even compared to 10 oh, years ago, yeah. is highly digital. And things like this make that a possibility. We, we worked with the DJ Scratchy, who is a guy who plays Vegas and, and does mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. And uh, he was just two iPads and something like that. He yeah, that's up really neat. To the, to the USB because all you got to do is toss that into a backpack, get on a plane, and you're ready yeah. for the gig. It does have some downsides. So, so I'll just give the pros and the cons here. The pros, super compact and portable, highly customizable and very versatile in that regard. It's really well built and just light. And, you know, it's purdy. I mean, it's got the little blinky lights. One thing I didn't mention, these lights here... You can program it so that it shows you. It's basically like an LED, a VU meter, wow. responding to the audio on each of those individual oh, tracks. Really? So even though you're changing the volume, it's showing you if your beats are lined up, things like that. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, on, the, on the negative side, it's not ideal for precision. If you're really wanting to get in there and be really precise with your moves... Um, it's a little bit broader than that. Uh, so you you got to kind of be careful. I got really used to it over time, figuring out how to be more precise by kind of pushing my finger in there a little mm -hmm. bit, a little bit harder. Um, but, you know, just, just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, so as a result, you need a heavy finger for that pressure sensitivity. One thing I didn't mention, just, to, just as a, a final point here, every pad... I did say that it's multi-touch. Every pad also responds to pressure, so how hard you push it down. Velocity, so how fast it goes down. Those all send different commands. And then I think I mentioned X, Y, which basically means I could program one of these squares so that no matter where my finger is in the middle of it, it's sending different commands. So, you know, maybe a filter or whatever, that kind of stuff. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Uh, absolutely recommend to buy. Uh, this was designed by Keith McMillan. Yep. He raised money. Uh, he asked for, on Kickstarter... Uh, starter, he asked for I think like fifty thousand, no, fifteen, fifteen, or something and like that, raised yeah. one hundred fifty. It was just an amazing success story. Wow. And one of the one of the things that uh, really show how valuable Kickstarter is because this is a oh, real yeah. a real product. I uh, love it. And without Kickstarter, I don't know if we would have made it. That's really great. So 
I take it you're saying a buy since you want one yourself. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hands, hands down. This is actually buy. a personal appeal to the community. I know, right? People. Please. I, I, I want to buy it from you, <laughs> this one. I, I've, seen a, I've seen and worked with a lot of products that are similar similar in many ways to this, and they usually cost a lot more than this. $200 That's is amazing. an incredible buy for this. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, so that is Q-U-N-E-O, Cuneo. Uh, and I, it says here 250 but you're saying it is now currently... I, I, Two hundred dollars from Keith. I'm McKellen. not sure if the the MSRP is two fifty. I was searching all over online, and they're all listed at two hundred dollars. So That's maybe amazing. they brought it down. Amazing. Well, thank you. Everybody's selling it cheaper. Thank you, Jason, yeah. and good luck with the uh, yellow gold. I thank think, at, given how much you've raised in one day, twenty eight more days to go, you're gonna you're gonna hit your. Uh, we'll I think you're see. gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna I be think all right. the kid stays in the picture. I, I really appreciate it. Liam. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jason Howell.